today I'm going to talk to you about something completely and utterly different to what I normally talk to you all about and it is menstrual cups. Now you're probably thinking oh my god what on earth have I clicked on but this is something that I feel that I can talk about and something that I have a lot of knowledge about so I thought I'm going to do my own video and hopefully I can add something to it that other videos haven't got like funny stuff that has happened uh, and some information that took me months of searching through the internet to find so here we go so first off you need to find a menstrual cup that you actually like now there are loads and loads and loads on the market um, I'm not going to advise you which ones to get uh, there's lots of different ones you're going to have to try for yourself as to which you can which will be suitable for you. You can even get disposable ones. Uh, the one I'm going to show you today is a reusable one and they're supposed to last for about 10 years and uh, when you first get them they look pretty much like this. Obviously a slight variation depending on which one you've actually gone for. Um, when you take it, uh, take it out of the packet it will normally come in a cute little bag they can cut me different colour bags. Um, these can be different sizes depending on whether you've had children or not had children. And they normally come with some instructions. But they can be quite complicated if you don't understand what you're supposed to be actually doing. So when you get your cup, what, I what you first need to do is you need to boil a pan of boiling water and just pop that in there and leave that to boil for approximately two to three minutes and that will kill off any bacteria or germs that might be lingering around on here um now <clears throat> when you come to using the cup there are different ways that you can use it uh, first off you need to make that small enough to be able to fit inside you you don't just put, put it straight up there because that would just be silly. Now the two methods that I know of, there are probably more, are the fold, which is where you push your finger in like that and then fold it in half. And as you can see, that creates that kind of shape. And then you pinch it together and then up it goes that way. And the other one is called the punch down method, is where you take one side and you push down like that. And that creates a triangular kind of shape. That's the method that I prefer using. Uh, you will also notice that once you've used these for a few times, they do actually become a little bit softer, thankfully. So let's talk briefly about the benefits of using a menstrual cup. Well... Um, obviously there's the landfill issue, uh, the less tampons and sanitary towels that are going to waste. Um, these are actually more hygienic, some people might think that they're not hygienic because you're reusing them which is why you do the boiling every month. Uh, I tend to boil mine at the end of my period and at the start of my period just to make sure that it's all fresh before I start using it again. Uh, one thing I have noticed since using the menstrual cup, my uh, periods have actually become lighter, there's not as many clots now, and I'm actually getting less and less stomach cramps. Um, when I first started using this, I had disaster after disaster after disaster. I was leaking all the time, um, it was overflowing, um, the stomach cramps were really bad. And uh, what it turns out is that all the, the sanitary towels that you buy from the supermarket and the tampons, they've all been bleached and they've all got chemicals in them that aren't good for your body. So when you start using one of these, your body actually starts detoxing and it gets rid of all the, the nasty toxins that you've been using possibly for years. I mean, it might be your first time that you're having menstrual cycles and you actually want to find out how to use one of these before having your first period, whichever. Um, 
if it is your first period great go for one of these straight away if you feel confident enough or if you have been using sanitary towels and other products for years and you are worried that your periods are too heavy please 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 do have a go at using one of these because like I said my periods are very very light since using one of these now and they did start off heavy but now my body's detoxed and um, it's, it's wonderful I probably have about one leak a month now which is usually my heaviest day um, on that day I then tend to use some of these which are um, reusable sanitary towels uh, they come in different colours, different patterns and they're basically the same like that you get in the supermarket but instead of uh, the little plastic things you just uh, use the poppers to pop round your pants if I can do it there we go and that will hold on onto your pants nice and securely and not fall out and uh, then you just pop that in your washing machine on a low wash uh, all the stains come out it's fine and then you, you, you don't put it in the tumble dryer because you've got a lining of plastic on the back to stop it from going through your clothes but yes I use them for just one day now on my heaviest days just to catch anything that might escape but apart from that I'm pretty much using this all the time now and um, you can't even tell it's in there, you can't feel it's there. Um, it, it, I, you know, even when you use tampons you can tell that there's a string there, you're aware that there's something there but with this pretty much non-existent, you can't tell that it's there. So once you've practiced a bit about uh, how you, whether you want, decide you want to put it in like this or whether you want to do the folding method um, you know you're gonna to have to have a practice I'd say use it for at least three cycles before you've decided which one is suitable enough for you oh next door's dogs are barking <laughs> sorry about that so um I don't know whether you know much about um, your own body but um, inside your vagina you have a ring of bone which is a big circle like that and it's got a small gap in it and so that's for when you have babies, the, the bone then separates to make it bigger so that the baby's head can come through. So if you ever feel around inside your vagina, you will be able to feel that ring of bone. So when you take your cup, I'm going to demonstrate using the punch down method, and you pop it up inside you, and when you release it, to let it go, that will then sit around the circle of bone, your pubic bone. And stop it from coming down when you want to take it out you need to there's some little ridges on the bottom but you, if you can get your finger up you need to squash it slightly and pull down and you need to be careful at this point and out it comes and then all you simply do is you get that cup you tip it into the toilet and then you can either rinse it under the tap, which is my preferred method, or you can use some tissue to, to wipe it around if you're stuck in a public toilet, and then pop it straight back up again. You don't need to sterilise it in between. All you literally do is sterilise it at the beginning and the end, or just the end if, you, if that's what you prefer, and then just rinse it off with water in between. And that's it, really. Um, now... There are some other things which I'm going to talk to you about. Now this end bit here, you can actually cut that bit down because some people find that that bit's a little bit too long it might stick out and irritate them. So as I'm going to show you with my other one, you can actually cut that off. Mine's completely cut off there. And a tip that this is a tip that took me months and months to find out. I found that when I was first using them, that uh, these little ridges on the bottom, I don't know whether you can see the ridges, they were actually um, irritating me and making me quite sore. But what I discovered uh, on this forum, if you actually push and turn it inside out, 
it makes it completely smooth on the outside and it takes away all the irritation I now literally can't tell that that's in there at all um, you can still get it out it's fine um, so yeah definitely it also shortens it slightly some some people might have a problem with the length of it so if you actually turn it inside out you might notice that it shortens it and it doesn't actually compromise on any of the storage in there and you can still see the numbers which is handy so this one tells you how much fluid you've lost each time you come to take it out but don't worry too much about that because you're only supposed to lose about a teaspoon of blood each cycle uh, the rest is normally water and different um, different period stuff that's coming out so um, one thing that sometimes can happen is it does go up too far and when you come in to take it out you can't find it it's too high for you to grip don't panic uh, the simple thing to do is to squeeze just like you're having a poo or you, you're trying to give birth whatever and if you squeeze those muscles down it will actually push it down just enough and you should be able to grab it then and take it out that's fine simple um, what else to talk to you about um, if uh, you worried about going out into public don't don't worry about that too much um, what myself and my friends tend to do is um, we either take a bottle of water out in our handbags with us or um, I use some of those fem wipes that you can get and I just give it a quick white round and um, if they're flushable you can put them in the toilet or if not you can put them in the sanitary towel bin or a bin there's normally one around. Uh, the first time I used one of these was actually in India. Now um, I was really really worried about using it in India, um, obviously hygiene purposes, um, I don't know whether a lot of you know but um, these aren't really talked about in India. Uh, in fact, periods in general aren't really talked about in India. They just tend to get on with it. They don't talk about it. In fact, they just tend to hide rags under the kitchen sink or somewhere where their husbands won't find it. Um, I mean, not, not all places in India. Some do talk about it. But, um, yeah, um, as, as you can imagine, some places have holes in floors. Uh, and that's what they use for a toilet um, so going to India and using this menstrual cup for the first time I was really concerned that, I, that I'd have trouble using it but once I actually got to India I actually discovered that a lot of the toilets they actually had like these uh, little hose pipes um, beside each toilet because uh, they don't tend to use toilet paper there so you could just get it, it got a little trigger on it like when you're doing the, the water in the garden and I just squirted it all around and poured it into the toilet and that was it that was clean so that, that it was actually really easy I found it actually easier in some of the toilets in India than um, I do back at home because we haven't got that luxury of having the little showers next to the toilet um, I've also been to China and uh, I can honestly say that if I went to China that again I wouldn't be bothered about using using one of these I would just take a bottle of water in my bag or the menstrual wipes it's simple just use that they normally have bins next to the, the toilets because uh, in China they do actually have toilet paper but um, instead of popping it into the holes they um, pop them into the, the bins next to the toilets so if you use the wipe you just pop it into the, the bin it's fine you see all sorts in those bins so you get used to it um, I would even say that um, I'm going to the festival next weekend and I would even be comfortable using one of these if uh, I had to go and use one of those porta -loos. again I'd just take some water with me and rinse it off and pour it down uh, I, I would have to say though it is handy to have two of them simply because accidents do happen I have had accidents happen um, 
one of the accidents I had happen was when I actually dropped this down the toilet. Now obviously if that happens to you, you can't use this because you don't know what's been down that toilet or well, you probably do know what's been down the toilet but it's not going to be hygienic. So if that happens you do need to sterilise it again which is why it's handy to have the two. Um, a funny story, um, also be careful when, you, when you're taking this out because sometimes if it's a little bit full I have actually dropped a full one and it rolled all down my trouser leg and it looked like a scene from a horror movie. All my clothes were just covered in bright red blood. Thankfully, I was at home and I could just clean it up and put my clothes in the wash and that was fine. But um, when, when you take it out, try and take it out from behind you so that you don't necessarily have that, that accident of it going all over your, your clothes. Um, obviously, practice, practice, practice uh, does help as well. Um, also, I would say if you have had children or you have a weak pelvic floor, please, please, please be careful with sneezing and coughing because it can have that, that thing where it makes it jump down slightly and it's not happened to me, but it, there have been times when I've coughed or sneezed and it has moved slightly and I've had to go to the toilet and sort myself out. Um, from, from fear of it actually coming out whilst I've been walking somewhere because that's not actually happened to me but <laughs> uh, just be careful if you do have a weak pelvic floor there are a couple of videos that I've seen one that is talking about the smell that comes from these cups now I have never ever noticed the smell um, I have used one for two weeks at a time and it has smelt perfectly fine to me at the end. Um, of course, you can get something called vaginosis, which is a bacterial infection. Um, providing that you are sterilising these cups properly, then that isn't an issue. Um, sometimes in the little holes, you can get um, a collection in those holes. So what I tend to do is get a cocktail stick and just pop pop the cocktail stick through the hole and that cleans out the little holes and I do that sometimes before I'm popping it into the water to be sterilised um, but yeah as long as you sterilise it once a month for two to three minutes there's, there's no smell that I can tell of anyway uh, one other thing that I was meant to talk to you about is sometimes when you um, pop it in it might go at a slight angle or the, you might notice that your cervix is um, it's not quite inside it and it just doesn't feel comfortable. If that is the case, just take it out and pop it back in again. They're not supposed to uh, touch your cervix but they do. Everywhere you look you'll hear people talking about the fact that your cervix does sit inside of it. Especially if you've had children, your cervix will sit inside of it. Now one tip that I learnt um, was when you've popped it up inside of you and you've put you've, you've popped your finger up and done a little wiggle around to make sure that there's, it's all opened out properly is sometimes if you stand up and first of all you move your hips backwards and forwards and then you do a first a couple of circles one way, pause and do a couple of circles around the other way and you will actually find that that helps align the cup better so that it's, it's sitting better where it should be um, so that is a really useful tip another question that comes up a lot is will using one of these menstrual cups um, make me lose my virginity well the simple answer is no it will not make you lose your virginity um, it won't even break the hymen they're really soft and gentle and so yeah you will still be a virgin by using one of these cups um, I think I have answered everything for you if there are any questions please 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 do leave a comment or send me a message and I will try and answer it for you um, 
even if you want to know if you live in India I know who actually sells these in India so contact me and I will put you in touch with them um, so yeah any questions please ask and I'll do my best I'm not an expert on it I've only been using these cups for six months now but I will do my best to help you or at least uh, point you in the direction of getting some proper answers so thank you for watching this video